Hello guys and welcome to Game Devart. So this video is all about AdMob. Before starting the video, please like, share and subscribe. And note all the link will be in the description. So I am using Shinlin AdMob and I am using Godot. 3.2.4 beta 1 first you need to compile admob for 3.2.4 or else you need to wait until there will be an official release for the next code out version so i am compiling you can just download uh, the branch uh, over here download zip uh, it will be of some kvs you also need code out lib aar file in this file and you need to copy paste it into admob plugin admoblib.release here and just change the name to go.lib.release.ar file and that's all so uh, next uh, you need to go to the go.admob java file uh, you need to edit that uh, you can find that file inside uh, admob plugin go.admob source main java just keep clicking on some folders and you will and you will find that uh, i will paste the location in the description then you need to edit it using any text editor or i use uh, visual studio code just drag and drop like this and you will get that file and there you need to scroll down to here line number 49 and it will be like this activity is equal to go dot and you need to just add this go dot dot get activity and you will be good to go and now to the compiling process so i am on windows back to the folder and here into the admo plugin folder here press cmd just type cmd in this bar press enter and here just type gradle w build gradle with w build and if everything goes fine it will it will compile our format into go to red mob build and output are uh, over here so you will get this file you need to just copy and paste this file into your plugin folder and you will get this android folder by installing android tem build template so after that uh, you need to create gdf file or you can copy paste the old admob gdf file and you also need to edit this file and here if you are copy pasting the old file you need to edit this file and just replace it with uh, the name of your new r for uh, r file or you can edit this r file with the previous go.admob version copy just copy and replace here into the binary and save it so that's all for the compiling process here you can see uh, the build was successful don't worry about these issues uh, you just need an update this wrap up the compiling process of go.admob uh, uh, you also need to copy paste this admob lib folder into your into your go dot project and it will look like this so after this uh, you also need to edit your manifest file uh, which will be in go dot uh, build folder inside here inside build folder and similarly drag and drop into uh, your editor and then you need to copy paste this uh, which is also uh, mentioned in the uh, github repository of admob and replace uh, this id with your admob id now do not copy paste this between these lines or uh, just copy paste this uh, lines below activity 
and replace this id with your id and that's all for the ad mob setup so i have created two scene no oh, one this scene just some random animation and other scene is this uh, with some random animation so there are many ways uh, so there are different ways to initialize the ad mob uh, you can just uh, you need to create singleton of ad mob or else you can create uh, a node ad mob node with different ids at different scene i uh, note you can only create one ad mob node per scene but i prefer creating singleton you can just directly create singleton of this script i uh, like this uh, inside ad mob inside ad load auto inside auto load Let's go to this uh, ad mob script and add that script to your singleton to your auto load uh, enabling singleton this means uh, it will automatically add edit to every scene so now you can edit uh, according to your need here note if you are releasing your game into your into the play store or the final version uh, you need to add uh, is real uh, bool equal to true and it will uh, be ready for the final version or else remove if you are testing it you can create different ids uh, uh, interstitial id1 interstitial id2 and you can initialize uh, you, you can load these ads over here mm, over to the load load interstitial you can just add one more line or you can just copy paste this line and here you need to you need to add your next uh, interstitial id like interstitial id 2 of different ad or else you can create a separate scene with add mob node you can directly add the value, value different ids over here and just change is real and other things and save it and then add this scene to the auto load so this is one another way this is another way of initializing add mob into your scene uh, so now you need to first load your ad do not load those ad in directly into any singleton because it will uh, it will keep loading at every scene instead you can just initialize those ad into your first scene like here in the ready function of your first scene maybe menu or anything just use just uh, use that uh, singleton name add mob not this add mob rather this which is your singleton this not this this ads dot load interstitial and this uh, load your first ad then you can show those ad mm, during a game or at the end of the scene or at the end of uh, the level or anywhere uh, using ads dot show interstitial you don't need to reload that ad after closing because it will automatically get loaded after being seen after being closed so there are some signal in admob uh, you can use those signals like on being on being closed uh, unpause uh, suppose you first uh, suppose somebody click 
uh, to the next scene uh, when it completes the last level it clicks uh, low continue or load next scene and then you load the scene using get tree change scene and you pause that scene until that ads being shown and when it when the player closes that ad it unpause or unpause the game and so what are the signals that you need to know so you need to know uh, first you need to know that you uh, need to load first uh, add uh, using load in uh, you need or banner load banner or load rewarded video uh, then it will be just an automatic process and the signal that you need to know are uh, it's rewarded close uh, instantial closed and instantial loaded if the ad is loaded show otherwise uh, don't show and then so i am sure you are familiar with the admob uh, website uh, you need to create your game uh, id first uh, and and when you create your app uh, then you need to paste your app id over here and then you need to create your ads and uh, those ads id will be uh, got pasted over here or into this scene over here Uh, so that's all for this video i hope you like this video if you have any doubts uh, please comment and i will try to solve those error so thank you